Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Uh, today is a very busy day. Um, I just rushed through all the hay feeding for today because I have a ton of stuff to do. It was actually just snowing. It's supposed to ice and a little wintry mix later today. But if you guys remember the two Jersey steers, we butchered the one and the other I was still holding on to, trying to decide what to do with it. Anyway, I listed it on Craigslist and I did have a buyer. They came out, looked at him, eventually decided they wanted him, and so they're paying me to haul them to their house. After I drop him off, I'm gonna take the truck and trailer, pick up a few bottle calves from one location, drive back to here, back to the farm, unload those four calves, and then drive another hour in the opposite direction to pick up two more calves. So, uh, busy day, a lot of driving, and anyway, I'm running low on time here, so I gotta get this steer loaded. So here he is, I couldn't get him in here by himself, so I brought brought the nurse cow and her two calves in. Get him separated here. Hey. Hey. And while I'm getting him loaded or towards the towards the uh, trailer here, um these people are looking to butcher him, and hey, hey, and uh, they're gonna feed him out for another month or so until they get their spot reserved at the butcher sh shop. And so he is going to their farm for a month and getting fed, and then he'll be ready to. He's already pretty much finished. He's got a lot of, he's pretty fat dude. Hey, hey, I know he's not been in here before. But. Hey, come on. And swing this. Hey. Hey, hey. Hey, come on, hey. Come on, hey. Can't back up. Pretty stress free, I'd say. Um, I gotta get all this closed up, but he is off. This will be the last time you see him. Um, because I probably won't fill with their farm, I doubt they'll want me to. But he should weigh around 900 pounds. That's when we butchered the other one, he weighed 840, and that was four or five months ago, so he ought to weigh 900 by now. So, anyway, say bye to him because he is gone. <laughs>
still guys here we are you just saw me you just saw me unload all these and my goodness uh, these two are heifers here on, here on the end this one this one came straight off the cow and this one has a loud mouth this one is a bull I already checked him this one is eating dirt. Not what I want him to be doing. Anyway, these guys are not actually that hungry. Uh, they normally get fed. A, they normally get fed a full bottle at two thirty, and they were fed a half a bottle. So that's why they're acting like that. they're not actually hungry. Just trying to get them switched over to. The seven o'clock schedule or seven thirty schedule that I have. So anyway, so I will tell you and show you a little bit more about them later. Um, I gotta hurry up and get this trailer off the truck. I can't do that when this little guy's in here. So um, anyway, I gotta unload or unhook this trailer, and then uh, I have to go take the truck and go pick up two more calves from a different dairy farm. So it has been a few days since I've seen you last and I never showed you all the new calves up close. Uh, the last couple days I've been feeding all of them on the bottle except for these two. And last night I actually switched these three, actually just these four. I got them on the bucket last night, we're gonna test it out and see how well they do this morning. It'll be their second time drink out of the bucket. And uh, anyway, when I was feeding all of these with just two bottles, it was taking me almost an hour. Taking me almost an hour to feed 15 calves, which is not good. So that's why I was deciding to switch over to buckets. Uh, not that I really want to switch to buckets, but. So yesterday, I didn't help her at all. She found it. As you can see, she starts drinking all by herself. Uh, she is sticking her nose a little too deep in the milk, but... And he's already done. She got started there. And... Gotta let me set this in here. And we'll see if she'll figure it out. She was a little stubborn yesterday, but she eventually got it. Yep. So they've all been fed. Um, I will show you guys the new calves now. All you've seen so far is me unloading them. And uh, I decided to put them on this side here. As you can see, there's two in this pen because I kind of ran out of room and I was hoping to get these on a milk bar but first you have this one here this one's a little heifer um all from the same farm these are from except for those first three i got uh anyway little heifer here pretty good sized happy with her this one is a bull and he likes to make noise even after he's fed but um then we have these two here. These are two heifers. She's also really loud. And this one here, still a little slow. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, she's not running in temperature or anything like that. Um, I think she's just a little behind. So uh, she just started drinking a full bottle now without uh, pulling off the nipple every five seconds. So today was a good day. 
And for those of you that watched the video I posted last week, uh, I said these two big ones were bulls. And I guess, I don't know if it's a rookie mistake or uh, just a mistake, but um, this one is a bull. And the dairy farmer, he told me he wasn't sure how many bulls and heifers there were, but he's like, I'm pretty sure there's two bulls. I just assumed these two were the bulls because they were huge and the others were, you know, medium average size. Hey, no. Uh, I didn't check, but then a couple days ago, uh, I was feeding and this one started peeing out of her rear end, which means not a bull. This is a, little, this is a big heifer, I should say. She's the ornery one and uh, she hasn't jumped out yet, but I think I've... Now he's acting like he wants to, but he normally doesn't. Anyway, so she is actually a huge heifer, like I said. This is not a bull, which means I have a ton of heifers this year. For those of you that remember, uh, the goal this year was to mostly raise steers and bulls and sell them all. Uh, I wasn't planning on raising heifers because I didn't think I was going to be keeping any more. But uh, I did say I would basically get whatever this guy would give me. Um, and all he's mostly had so far is heifers. And these are out of the same exact bull, same cows. Uh, the bull is just throwing a lot of heifers. So in total, I have this bull here, this bull here, and that Holstein bull over there. Um, so three bulls out of 12 in here, 13 in here. Uh, these older ones here, they're about a month along. They're getting close, not close to weaning, but they're getting close to eating a lot of, a lot of grain. Uh, she's eating about a half bucket now. As, as you can see, she's calmed down a lot. She really likes to be pet now. Um, doesn't even try to suck on me when I'm petting her, so. Um, anyway, these three are doing well. And now it's time to show you the other two new ones that I picked up that evening. Uh, here they are. Uh, they're in the other barn. This is where I was hoping to make the big group pen, but uh, not yet. So this one is actually a bull, so that makes four bulls out of 15. Um, and he is... I don't know, I'm pretty happy with him. He's a good good sized calf, pretty aggressive on the bottle. Um, pretty much exactly what I'd like to see. He does have little bug eyes. Uh, maybe hard to see, but his eyes stick out quite a bit. Nothing to worry about. And this one here is actually a big heifer. She's bigger than the bull. Um, and she is a little stubborn. I don't, once again, I don't know if she's all there yet. Uh, a little slow and I don't know. She pulls off the bottle, acts like she doesn't want any milk, and then five seconds later, she starts going crazy trying to jump out of the pen trying to get me for milk. So, a uh, little strange acting, and she's not taking the bottle well yet, so that's another reason why I don't want to put them in a group pen. Anyway, these two, as you guys know, the other the other calves are all half Gelby, half uh, Holstein. These two are from a different farm, and these are half Angus, half Holstein. So for those of you wondering about the Jersey steer, uh, I sold him for 925 and that was delivered. So, uh, and I picked the, all the other six calves up right after him. So, so I sold the Jersey steer for 925 and for all the new six calves, I spent about 925. So that'll tell you how much I paid for each calf roughly. And uh, the two Angus ones, I did pay a little bit more just because that's what they were wanting. And I think I ought to be able to get some more calves from that farmer as well. So uh, I'll be willing to pay, pay a little bit extra just to get more calves from them. So, so I kind of just traded one Jersey steer for six new bottle babies. Uh, I wouldn't say I made very much money on that Jersey steer. Probably definitely not the most profitable animal. I haven't run the numbers yet. I'd say I probably made around a hundred bucks, but um, making a hundred bucks is better than nothing. Thank you for watching everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. With that being said, I will see you guys next time.